Joining us now to tell us where to go, how it works, and where the bargains are is founder and CEO of The Point Sky, Brian Kelly. Welcome back to the show, Brian. Let's talk about this weekend's news about travel to Europe. The announcement was, was kind of light on details. What do we know so far? Well, what we know is that vaccinated Americans will be allowed to travel freely around the EU, which is big news, especially for people who have been separated from their families for over the last year. But as you mentioned, a lot is still to be determined on timing. And also, what about kids who are 16 and under and can't get the vaccine? So a lot to come, but good news for the travel industry. And so along with your passport, make sure you bring that vaccination card as well. Absolutely. Keep it in a, in a safe space. Don't laminate it in case we need to get booster shots. And don't post it on social media because it has sensitive information. But have a picture of it uh, as a backup. Don't laminate it. Good tip there. Other countries have been open to tourists for a while, like Mexico and the Caribbean islands. Have travelers found any challenges or problems with international travel? You know, the international travel numbers have been going up, and certainly some people have had issues getting COVID tests to come back in the United States. Now, remember, this EU announcement is only for entering the EU. The U.S. government still mandates everyone, whether you're a citizen or vaccinated or not, to get a negative test within 72 hours of coming back to the U.S. So we're still waiting to hear if they're going to waive that for vaccinated Americans. And surely, you know, whenever you get tested abroad, there's a chance you might test positive. I know personally uh, some people who have had to extend their trips to Mexico or the Bahamas by two weeks because they tested positive. But by and large, I think consumers, you know, who are vaccinated are ready to get back in the sky and travel internationally. Kind of a blessing and a curse, depending on how quickly you have to be physically back at work if you get stranded on a tropical island. Uh, so what do wannabe travelers need in order to book their vacation once they are fully vaccinated? So once you're fully vaccinated, I think you should wait a little bit longer for Europe news just on the timing. But if you want to book right now, there are amazing $300 airfares to Europe. Uh, my number one tip, though, is don't book basic economy fares because they still have change fees. The airlines have waived change fees on most tickets, but generally not the cheapest. My biggest tip is also to use your frequent flyer miles because airlines will let you get your miles and taxes and fees back if you need to cancel. So if you feel the need to book a ticket today to Europe, use your miles. So if, in case the, the uh, rules don't allow you to go in time, you can always get your miles back. And what are the popular destinations and will there be enough availability to make a vacation a reality since so many people are itching to get out there now? Oh, yeah. Millions of people every day are traveling. Uh, the top destinations right now, Hawaii. Uh, I know people there. You've got to get to some hotels at six in the morning to get your pool chair. It's so crowded. Oh, wow. Miami, South Florida. Uh, occupancy rates are up above pre-pandemic levels. And Disney World, you better save your cash. Uh, the rates there are through the roof. So the best deals are international if you're willing to take a little bit of that risk. Uh, when traveling. And lastly, there have been reports that it's nearly impossible to get a rental car in the U.S. and possibly abroad. Why is that and what can we do about it? There is a rental car apocalypse right now. Uh, the rental car companies last year sold a lot of their fleets when they saw that business travel was uh, dropping. They didn't expect demand to rise up as quickly as it was. I don't think anyone expected most of the U.S. to be vaccinated by this point. Um, so what's happening is people are showing up not being able to get their cars. So I recommend book as far in advance as possible, book directly with your rental car company and join their loyalty program. Uh, and if you can get elite status in that program, some credit cards offer it even better. And, you know, instead of going to that expensive airport location, it might be better to take an Uber to an off airport location where you're battling with less people to get the car. In worst case, book a backup reservation in case the one you show up to and there's no car, you have a refundable option as a last resort. So many great tips there. Brian Kelly, the points guy. We thank you. Appreciate you coming back on. Thanks for having me. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.